In this PowerPoint, we're going to discuss calculating probabilities. So we're going to talk about trees and probabilities, the and ors of probability, what happens with and without replacement. Trees. So what's the actual point of these trees that we saw in the last PowerPoint? Say you have four yellow marbles and three green marbles in a bag. This is what the tree would look like. We can actually calculate the probabilities using this one tree. You start with your bag, you draw one green or yellow, and then your second draw, you also have green and yellow. To actually calculate the probabilities, we're first gonna have to add a few columns to our tree. So this is our original tree, and we're gonna add the outcomes column and the probability column. So if we wanna actually write the outcomes. What you need to do is you just need to follow your uh, tree. So if you start from the bag, the first outcome is drawing a green and then drawing another green, so G and G. The second outcome would be drawing a green and then drawing a yellow, so G, Y. Obviously you know that G means green and Y means yellow. And then uh, down here we have, you could pick a yellow first and then green, or you could pick a yellow first and yellow. So this is what it means by outcomes, and you should really write them all out the way that I did. Now that we know the outcomes, because there are three yellow marbles and four green marbles in the bag, there are a total of seven marbles in the bag. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a marble first draw, and we're going to put it back in the bag and draw again. So let's calculate the probabilities. So the first over here on this branch, what you're going to start doing is writing the probability of each branch. So for here, the probability of drawing a green, well, there's four green out of seven, so it'll be four out of seven. And over here, the probability of you drawing a yellow, well, there are three yellows out of seven marbles, so it's going to just be three out of seven. Now, again, you take the marble and you put it back in the bag. So the probability of drawing a green is still four out of seven. And say you drew a green, what is the probability that you would pick a Y or a yellow? Well, there's three yellows out of seven. Down here is the same principle. So you draw a yellow marble, which is three out of seven. You put it back in the bag. There are still four green marbles out of seven. And now there are still three green marbles or three yellow marbles out of seven. So these are the probabilities for each individual um, draw. Before we move on, I need to explain to you the and ors of probability. Now that we have our tree completed with each probability, how do we calculate the probability of say getting yellow and green, or green and yellow, or yellow and yellow? In probability, when we say or we see the word and, we multiply. When we say or we see or we imply the word or, we add. In our case, our outcomes use the word and green and green, green and yellow, yellow and green, yellow and yellow. We're going to multiply their probabilities to get the total. So this is what we found in the last slide. So now we're just going to calculate the probabilities by multiplying them. So for the first outcome, green and green, it'll be 4 out of 7 times 4 out of 7, so that's 16 out of 49. For green and yellow, you have 4 out of 7 over here times 3 out of 7, which is 12 out of 49. For yellow and green, it's 3 out of 7 times 4 out of 7, which is 12 out of 49. And for yellow and yellow, it's 3 out of 7 times 3 out of 7, which is 9 out of 49. So we've just calculated the probabilities of getting these specific outcomes. Now that we know the probabilities, I want to show you just a little bit more. In order to check your work, you will notice that the total of these probabilities should be equal to 100%. If it's not equal to 100%, you may have miscalculated or written the wrong probability down. More than that, you can answer so many probabilities now just by looking at this tree, which we're going to do right now. What is the probability that you pick two of the same colors? So the only outcomes where you pick two of the same colors are green, green, yellow, and yellow. But listen to what you're saying. So the probability that you pick two of the same colors are green and green or yellow and yellow. And remember what I told you about the and and ors. So green and green was 16 out of 49, and yellow and yellow was 9 out of 49. But I want to know green, green, or why, why is when you pick the two of the same colors. So we're going to add them. So the probability that you pick two of the same colors is actually 25 out of 49. What is the probability that you pick at least one green? Well, we have this outcome, or this outcome, or this outcome. 
we're going to take the probabilities and we're just going to add them. So green, green, or green, yellow, or yellow, green, which is 16 out of 49 plus 12 out of 49 plus 12 out of 49. You add the, the numerators and you keep the denominator, you get that the probability is 40 out of 49. When you take a marble out of the bag and you put it back, the probabilities stay the same for each draw because you're not changing anything. When you take a marble out of the bag and you don't put it back, a lot changes. Let's use our previous example with the green marbles and the yellow marbles, except this time, after the first draw, we're not going to put the marble back. So the first, at first, it's going to be, nothing's going to change. At first, when you draw, there's four green marbles and there are three yellow marbles out of a total of seven. Nothing changes. Because we don't put the marble back in the bag, our probabilities will change for the second draw. Because we take away a marble, instead of seven, there are now six marbles in the bag. And say we took away a colored marble, there will be one less colored marble in the bag. So over here, we drew a green, but that means we kept it. It's in our pockets. So in the bag, there are three greens left and six marbles total. For yellow, well, we didn't pick a yellow for sure. We picked a green. So there are still three yellow marbles in the bag, but because we took a marble here, its total is out of six. Down here, we take a yellow. The probability of us picking a green, well, there are still four green marbles, but now we have six total. And down here, well, we took a yellow. It's gone. So instead of three yellows, we have two. And instead of seven marbles, we have six. When a situation says with replacement, it means they're putting the object back. There is no keeping it. The probabilities don't change. When a situation says without replacement, it means they are not putting the object back. They are keeping it. The probabilities here change. Less total outcomes and less of the specific object that was chosen on the previous draw. Can you complete this probabilities column for, for this tree? Well, we need to multiply green and green, uh, green and yellow, yellow and green, and yellow and yellow. And you'll notice that instead of a denominator of 49, we have now have a denominator of 42. And we can check to see if we have the right probabilities by adding 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 6, and we'll get 42 out of 42, which is 100%. Now it's your turn. There are 12 yellow and 5 green marbles in a bag. Draw a complete tree, meaning with the outcomes and the probabilities column. Um, to calculate the probabilities of the outcomes if two draws are done with replacement. And do the same thing, except do it without replacement. So the answer for with replacement here um, looks something like this, because nothing changes. We have 5 greens and we have 12 yellows. So in the end, your tree should look like this. Your answer for without replacement will change a little bit because when we are taking a marble out of the bag and we're not putting it back, our outcomes for the second draw is out of 16. And we need to remember that when you're taking a green, there's one less green. And when you're taking a yellow, there's one less yellow. And you need to multiply them together just like you should have already seen. And that is the end of calculating probabilities. Up next, we are going to talk about geometric probabilities.